Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 23. First the input table. Treble table has three columns namely source, destination and distance. This is the source column, destination column and distance column. Now let's come to the problem statements. Write a SQL query to get unique combination of two columns that is source and destination irrespective of order of columns as shown below. So if you see the input table once again, in the row number one, we have source as Delhi and destination as Pune and distance is 1400 kilometer. In the row number two, source is Pune and destination is Delhi and distance is 1400 kilometer. If you see, if you will observe, source and destination got interchanged in the row number two. Similarly, in the row, num uh, uh, row number three, we have the source as Bangalore and destination as Chennai and distance is 350 kilometer. And again in the row number five, source is Chennai and destination is Bangalore and distance is 350 kilometer. If you uh, if you see the output table, we have only one entry for both for both these pairs. If you uh, for row number one and two, we have only one entry as Delhi and Pune, and distance is 1400 kilometer. And row number three and row number five, we have only one entry that is Bangalore as source, destination as Chennai, distance as 350 kilometer. Now we are left with two rows that is row number four that is Mumbai and Ahmedabad it is coming in only one single time. So uh, there is no pair with interchange of source and destination uh, column values. So we, we are getting row number three and the same is the case with row number six that is source as Patna and destination as Rachi and distance is 300 kilometer. So this is all about the problem statement. Let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. In order to solve this problem, let's revisit our input table once again. That is select star from ta travel table. So this is our input table. Now our first target is to, uh, to, uh, to filter out the records wherever there is source and destination columns are getting interchanged. So if you see the row number one and two, uh, source uh, for so, uh, row number one, we have the source as Delhi and destination as Pune. And in the row number two, these two source and destination columns are getting interchanged. And now source becomes Pune and destination becomes Delhi. So we have to, what we have to do, we have to filter out one record from this two rows. Similarly, for row number three, uh, three and row number five, you can see the source and destination columns are getting interchanged. So we have to filter out this uh, out of these two uh, records. We have to filter one record. So this is our first target. So let's see how we can do by writing SQL code. So I'm going to write select star from travel travel underscore table where source column is less than destination so if i if i run both the query our main table and the query which i have written just now so what we observe that wherever the the, uh, the the rows which are coming in pair with source and destination columns getting interchanged, uh, those rows uh, we are able to filter one record and we are getting uh, only one record in the output table. So you can see for row number one and two, uh, what is happening? Uh, I'm filtering where source is less than destination. So what it will do, it will it will compare the ASCII code of D with P. 
so a sky called code of d is uh, less than p so this will become true that's why it is coming in our output table similarly for row number two uh, two p a uh, sky code of p is greater than d so uh, this will be, this uh, this uh, this row will become false and it will not come similarly for row number 3 uh, sky code of b is less than c and that's that's why this becomes true con condition becomes true and it is there in the output table and similarly uh, for uh, records uh, row number 4 where sky code of m is greater than a that's why it is neglected Similarly, for uh, uh, row number 5, uh, sky code of C is, uh, is greater than B. That's why this row number 5 is neg neglected. And uh, row number 6, if you see the sky code of P is greater than uh, sky code of R. So, this is, uh, uh, sorry, sky code of P is less than R. So, this will be selected. So, we, uh, we are able to filter out the records where they are, uh, wherever there is a pair of uh, rows uh, and uh, where source and destination columns are getting interchanged. Now, our motto is to get the records which are coming in single row. So, which are those records? Those records are row number 4 that is Mumbai and Ahmedabad and the other one is row number 6 Patna and Rachi. So, uh, already Patna in Rachi we, ha we are able to get from this code. Now, we have to get the Mumbai and Ahmedabad as well. So, let's see how we can get this through SQL code. So, now what I am going to do, I am going to write union. Then, I am going to select this table itself, select a star from table. and I'll give alias as A where not exists now I'm going to select one from same table but this time I will give alias as B where a dot source is equal to b dot destination so what i have written i have written a correlated subquery what i am doing i am in the subquery i am selecting one from tra a table travel underscore table uh, I'm giving values as B where a dot source is equal to B dot destination. So wherever this a dot source is equal to B dot destination will be true. It is going to discard that record and because there is a not not exists. So wherever this condition will become false, this because of I have used not exists, it will become true and that those row will be selected. We know that in correlated subquery, each row of the outer query is executed by the inner query. So let's consider this source uh, column is uh, from is coming from the A table that is outer outer query table, and this destination is from the B table uh, that is the inner query. Let's assume it for the time being. So what I'm doing, I'm filtering where A dot source is equal to B dot destination. So a dot source is nothing from the is nothing but a source column from the outer query and b dot destination is the column from the inner query so what it will do it will try to do a comparison so it will be able to find because delhi is also present in the destination so it this can this condition will become true since i have used not exists operator so this whole statement will become false and nothing will be selected so similarly when the outer query uh, source value is pune uh, it will be able to make a join with bit uh, i mean uh, b dot destination value that is pune and again this will be disregarded 
Similarly, when the source is Bangalore from the outer query, and it will be able to find in the inner query as well as Bangalore is present. So again, this will be disregarded. When the source value is Mumbai from the outer query, this it will not be able to find in the destination and this will be selected. Similarly, for Chennai, it will be able to find in the destination and it will not be selected. And the row number six, which is Patna, which is also not available over here. So this will also uh, this will also will be selected. So we are from this query, second query, we are able to get uh, row number four and row number six printed out. Earlier, we were able to uh, print row number one that is Delhi Pune and the uh, Chennai Bangalore. So this will make a if I do a union uh, if, if you remember in uh, in the first query we were also able to get Patna and Rachi and this Patna and Rachi is also coming from this second query. So if you do a union it is going to remove the distinct row and will get the uh, unique combination of source and destination. So if I fire this query alone you can see we are able to get only the row which are present only once so we got it and the first one we got the row which were which were present in rows and we were able to filter out one one row from each pair and we also additionally got Patna Rachi but since we are using a union it is going to disregard I mean, it will take a it will it will keep only one copy of this row number three so if I run this full piece of code so here you go you got the distinct combination of the source and destination so this is our requirement so that's all for this video if you have liked my video please do like it and do subscribe my channel thank you and thanks for watching